Hi. I wanted to give you a peek behind the scenes of my Witcher Lego animation. I've had a lot of folks asking how I put it all together. So the first part is pretty familiar. If you've seen my other LEGO animations, lots of building sets, creating characters, and setting the stage. But the real magic happens with this single camera follow shot. I have a low level HDRI providing general light and then a bunch of accent lights to make certain areas pop depending where moments of action happen. And I had to create giant backlights which is just a plane with an emission material for the sky, as well as black panels to control the lighting inside of those LEGO buildings to basically make it look like all of these windows and doors were closed and not having a bunch of light shine through. For the handheld look, it starts to get a little bit more complicated. I used this great add-on called Shakeify from Ian Hubert, which I use for most of my handheld recreations like Abbott, Office, Parks and Rec to match the kinetic energy, but going in and out of slow motion required not only animating the intensity of the shake, but also simultaneously going in and out of frame interpolation on individual characters, which is what makes the characters look like they're animated on twos or stop motion. So it got real complicated pretty fast. Then there are the focal points, super important, especially when you've got a bunch of characters moving around, uh, doing a bunch of things and you want to, you know, you got to focus on the back of Geralt's head, got to focus on this bad guy that he hits, the sword, the bow, everything. So I had to have certain focal points paired to other focal points and animate going in and out of each one and which one to follow. It was, it got, that also got very complicated, but I did that at the end. I did that once I was done animating everything. And as for special effects, blood spurts and whatnot, that's where the particle systems come in. I had planes set up throughout the entire alley from point of contact. So once a sword basically hit contact with a piece of a Lego, I put a plane there and had uh, seven blood pieces kind of shoot out of it. Um, and then I just did that throughout the whole thing. That was another, just like focus, that's something I did right at the end. Once all the animation was good, I just did a bunch of blood particles. That's so, that's it I think. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll try to get to it. Also let me know what else you wanna know and I can try and make more videos about specific topics if anybody wants that. Uh, but without further ado, here's a bird's eye view of the whole animation. Enjoy. She gave us a message to pass on to you. You have to choose the lesser evil. It's an ultimatum. Get it? Fuck.